Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm in Castle St. Angelo in Rome, Italy. Castle St. Angelo. And this is like Hadrian's Mausoleum and it's round and everything else, but I'm going to go inside and I'll show you what this looks like. We'll go take a look. Bye everybody. As always, there's a line, but I'm coming late. I just sat outside filming stuff and people and my advertisements, but uh, I figured I'm right here. I might as well go do Castle St. Angelo. And it's pretty amazing. But it's this big round building and it's uh, double walled, which is cool. And I think I've said this in the past videos, because I think I've done this one a couple of times, is that um, this is where the Pope runs to, because the Vatican is not real safe and secure. I mean, they can do, I mean, if it's just 10 guys, they can probably handle it, but if it's like an army, they send the Pope here, and he goes through that, uh, I call it the Pope way, but it's not. It's that, uh, uh, it's not the Vicari, Viscari Corridor, that's uh, at... Uh, Florence but uh, anyway he goes through this corridor and they get him to here and this being double walled I mean they can really protect him and then they just stick him inside here which is even harder to get to and you'll see that here soon too um, very cool okay I'll be back okay we're ready so to get into the um, Castle St. Angelo it's 12 bucks to enter and then I think if you want to see the bathroom of the Pope, it's an extra two bucks, and then the Roma Pass. We don't want any of that, right? Roma Pass, six bucks. Redu oh no, I'm sorry, it's not two dollars for the reduced ticket. I should read the American side. <laughs> anyway, um, but there was an extra fee last time I was here for the Pope's bathroom, but uh, I guess not. So it's taken me about a half an hour to get that far in line. So, and I've still got a line. And I will be back. Okay, so this is Castle St. Angelo and Hadrian's uh, Mausoleum Palace thingamajigger. Fountain of Bees. So this is round, so there's, it's a double walled, right? So there's this wall, which is on the outside, and then there's this area, which is the actual, like, fortress. But they have to get past this wall, so they put all their soldiers up on top there with arrows and everything else, and shoot, 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 and uh, keep them from getting to this area. And then once they were in here, I mean, how do you get up to there? <laughs> Very hard, so, anyway. It's pretty amazing. Uh, is somebody singing in the toilet? Uh, there is somebody singing in the toilet. <laughs> that's funny. And that's locked. And so I think what's going to happen is we're going to go down here and then we're going to go around the... Is it the outside first and then the inside? Yes. So we go up here and then along that wall and then inside. Um, but you can see how, man, you could, a hundred people, you could defend this like nobody's business. Uh, it's pretty amazing. We'll get in the shades. And are these cannonballs or are these things they drop on people? Probably all cannonballs, huh? And that's the castle. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And the wall is just, I mean, so it's like, that'd be kind of easier to climb, but once you get up to there, it kind of tilts outward. And so it's, uh, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Because you ain't getting up on that smooth part. And I think that's a toilet up there, if I, if I remember. And there's a well. And that's the crane to pull the water out. And if I remember things right, and I'm sure I don't, um, that uh, Hadrian was buried here, but then they they didn't want him buried here anymore or something, or they moved him or something, but to get him out, they had to 
like widen this pathway and make this round like a uh, staircase, not staircase, a ramp for the horses to get his body out and stuff. So it's pretty, pretty crazy, pretty amazing. And obviously these used to be support walls, right? So, and they always, they went up to there, but I think we get up to there eventually. <clears throat> And this is what it looks like. So you can see how defensive this is. So turret, 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 turret. And then this is the castle here. And so they could just defend this wall, man, like nobody's business. So it would take you two armies to get uh, into there. And I don't know what that says. All right. And eventually we're going to get up there. So this is almost backwards, huh? Yeah, instead of going this way, it's backwards from before, ah, different. So now this is where we used to come out um, because this is going to send us up the ramp. And this is Hadrian's, uh, like this ramp right here that we're walking up, it's stairs now, but back then, I mean, this was, Yeah, that's the ramp. Let's see if it talks about the ramp. Um, the spiral staircase originally linked the atrium of Hadrian's mausoleum with the urine's room, urn's room, climbing a different in heights of over 12 meters, so 12, 30, 6 feet. The funeral procession carrying the emperor's remains passed along here, three meters wide and about six meters high. The ramp is made of brick using sophisticated techniques of imperial architecture. The original floor would have been central runner, tilesine, blah, 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 in correspondence with blah. And so, like, right, because to get him out of here, they had to have this ramp. And that's this. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get over here and get this. And so this is this. We are in the atrium. That is the entrance to Hadrian Mausoleum. There's a large recreation in the travel scene. We've been covered in a marble slab now. Lost proof of their existence, however, comes from the whole thing. Wow. Interesting. <clears throat> So this is how they got Hadrian out. You're fine. And we're going to look up this and it goes way, way, way high, I think, if I remember right. So this is <clears throat> this was all made for the carriage and the horses that uh, carry Hadrian out of here. And I guess there was a big procession or something. I don't know. I think I had a tour or something one time where they talked about all this stuff. But it's certainly amazing. But this will be high too. There's people up there. It 
It's nice and cool in here though. passage created by the Boniface IX at the end of the 14th century to reach the interior of the Roman cylinder. Opposite, we see the reconstruction of the guard room from the 16th century. A few steps further, the trapdoor opens up beneath our feet. The enemy who managed to overcome the wall, the moat, the drawbridge could not rest on, on his laurels as they were worn over glass pitfalls on the face. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Carrying on, we go up the bridge and okay. So that's the guards area up there, maybe. So I'm going to come back this way. And again, it shows you where we're at. We're like over here, I think, in this circle. And then we're going to get into the inner area. And up here is the well. to rest. Originally the room ceiling and decorated stucco, blah, blah, blah. To the left of the marble car, a plain bearing the University of Hadrian's dedicated to his soul and is made famous. Okay, okay, okay. Little lost and gentle souls, companion and guest of the body. Get ready now to go down into the powerless, colorless ordos, or ordios and bare pal places to where we'll no longer have the usual entertainment. Huh. Oh, this is the moat that used to drop out below them. Oh, and this is what that sign says over there. Huh. So this used to be like a big urn, like a big thing full of water, right? Obviously, if the Pope was living here for six months, because I heard they had to evacuate him once before, or a couple of times, I don't know. But he had to live here for six months or a year, or maybe they were working on the Vatican or something. This is where the Michael Angel, Michael Angel Michael is, the fake one or the old one. And then they changed it out with the one on top of the building. So that's the old Angel Michael, I think. Let's see what it says here. We're in the courtyard of honor in the papal apartment that extended out to the left from the 15th century onward. The Pope dedicated the apartment, fitted with every comfort in the castle. They made good use of them, especially in places of refuge, blah, 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 where the Vatican were forced to flee from the Vatican. Clement the Seventh, for example, stayed for seven months. See, that wasn't bad. During the sack of Rome in 1527, the statue of St. Michael the Archangel sculpted by Raffaello in 1544. Um, for the highest terrace of the castle, St. Angela stands in the center. It was transferred in the 18th century. Um, okay. So this is all 
This is the apartment over there. There's the Vatican over here. Huh, okay, which way to go? So what is this? This is... Start Exhibition Path? This gives you a good idea of what it looks like. But my drone video would take care of that. So you see the thing up on top there, the angel? That one was on. That other one we just took a picture of, that was on top. And then it was changed out by that. I think my drone video is better. Huh. used to look in the old days. Wow. So it used to be built out a lot more. Model of the center of the room was made in 1927. as you need to. more defenses. Mind your head. Ooh. Oops, sorry bro. That's the one in uh, Piazza Navona, isn't it? With no alien. <laughs> I love that 
fireplace. This must have been a pretty important room back in the day. Popes that lived here, maybe. Little glare, I guess. Look at the chains on the wall. Those are big chains. chair I come back this way so sorry Is this Hadrian? No. Huh? Let's see what it says about this room. It certainly has some security to it. The room was built in the mid 15th century by Nicholas V. This was the beginning of the slow process of transforming Castle St. Angelo from a fortress to a papal residence. The name of the Apollo room. The name of the Apollo room is linked to the subject of the fresco by Perlin de Vega and his collaborators in 1547 at the time. Apollo grotesque on white background. The marble fireplace was built by Raffaello. That's cool. In 1540, the uh, Okay, that's pretty amazing. Okay, so the, it was linked to the subject of the fresco by Perrin del Vega and his collaborators. Where is Apollo? Or is Apollo everywhere? Is this all Apollo? Apollo? A Apollo? It says the room is Apollo? So all these... They're all Apollo. Apollo, Apollo. Okay. Okay, thank you. So every picture you see of a man, I guess, is Apollo. Bless you.
Very cool. This one? Oh, okay. You can go this way. Well, you can't go up the stairs, but you can look here. Uh, I don't see English on any of those things, but... Okay, everybody, I'm still looking for bells, just like that. Okay, you're all gonna get right. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie, grazie. Okay. So now we're back here. So we walk through there. Now does it say to go... I think if we go this way... So I know the restaurant is up there and the main thing is that way, but I think we can also go this way and go around, but I guess we'll take our chances, huh? feels marvelous. Oh, Sorry. go ahead. So this is the restaurant that's up here. So you can come up here and have a Eight dollar beer and overlook the Vatican and such. But it's usually pretty full. And there's the Vatican right there. So if you need a break, this is the place to take it. And they have bathrooms and the whole nine yards and such. More Vatican. Just looking at the Vatican, sorry. It's tough to have these seats. In. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, this one's pretty amazing too here. Sorry, I had to steal a picture. People are like, don't interrupt our lunch for your photography. That's where I was just sitting down there doing my little experiment, feeling like a fool. Isn't there a song about that? The 
amazing. I'll get out of people's way here. I feel the pressure. That's a good picture too, I think. Okay, I think I'm going to stop recording and have a beer right there on those steps that I didn't get to drink uh, during my uh, <laughs> fiasco. Hmm. Amazing. Okay, I'll be back. Bye. Actually, I haven't gone yet. I was just trying to think if that was the right place or if I should just have one down here. I'll have one down here in the square. And then I can't tell, it looks like it goes this way or you can go either way. But I guess I'll come back and figure all that out because you can go up and right or back and right. It's a very cool square. Okay, everybody. Very cool. Okay, I'll be right back. Bye. Cheers, everybody. Eric Clark's Travel Videos. This is just uh, a perfect place and you can have a beer and uh, enjoy the sights and it's amazing and I'm glad you all can come with me and share the moments. It is perfect and uh, here's to the Vatican and uh, Tuborg <laughs> and the bridge in Tuborg and the Angels Bridge in Tuborg and everything. Thanks so much for coming. Bye everybody. Oh, and the video is still going to continue. I'm just drinking my beer first. Bye. Okay. We're moving on. And this is to the outside. And I thought this was really more informative. But let's do it here. These are the things you see from the street. Interesting. And that's the Angels Bridge down there. So we'll go upstairs. How are you doing again? Pretty amazing. Perfect timing. Wow. Let's see if I can get this roof out. Ceiling. Let's see what it says about it. We are in the Paulina room, pa pa Paulina, which is Paul's third room, the Counter Reformation, the Counter Reformation Pope that organized in the Church of the Martin. It was discovered in 1545, 1547 by the Dominican. Okay. 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 Pause as you need to.
No toilet? The Pope's bathroom? Uh, it what? It's closed? It's closed. You used to? So you used to be able to buy tickets and go in here. Because um, it's amazing. But you can't really see anything in there now. So. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Look at that picture. Hmm, that's amazing. You guys can't see it because it's... There you go, that might work for it. Alright, lady, you gotta move. It's beautiful. Molto bene. I guess she's gonna stay there all day. Can you move? Grazie, grazie. Thank you. Cause I just want a picture of that. Thank you. Escalator, elevator for staff. That's too bad they closed that library bathroom area. Hmm. No doors. Bookshop. We don't need to go to the bookshop. Amazing. I still think they might need to have uh, signs that say it goes this way. And I think this is the... Is this the church or something? I can't remember. Oh, we'll look. It says, La Sala de la Biblioteca. The library is in the main room in one of the two apartments of Paul III that built in 1540s to be exact, the Castellano apartment. And Donor Castellano's hand as well as she's included two adjoining rooms of follow. This room provided access to the papal archives and the people, okay? The vault designed in 1545. Fireplace. Okay, pause as you need to.
interesting because the bottom parts are sculptures. They're, th they're not uh, just paint-ons. They're actually, like look here. So they stick out. me trying to zoom in but my my finger is so big and the button is so tiny I still can't do it with my finger I have to use my pinky almost <laughs> great fireplace I'm gonna give this a second and let people evacuate that out of their room first Interesting, we don't get to go in the room anymore. Access to the roof. Huh. <clears throat> yep. Cathedral points sticking up, and then the cake. You're doing good, okay? <laughs> yes. And that's the statue that was replaced. You have to go down and there's little tiny flights of stairs so you gotta wait. But the breeze feels amazing. Oh, 
Very cool. Okay, here we go. This is really low. That's my head. back in that room. Wow. It still is amazing. this all day long, huh? It's because there's so much to see. And it's interesting, is this marble? Yep. And that's a little door. So it's painted, but the door is only this little section of it, which is cool. Hmm. Got an elephant in it. Okay, onwards and upwards, or downwards now, right? And the arrow says, the arrow says this way. So we'll go this way. And the sun's out in full force. picture of me, huh? And they do have sandwiches and croissants and stuff here, so... It looks wonderful. Where are you guys from? Texas. Arizona. Go Dallas. I do like the Dallas football team. My best friend likes Pittsburgh. And he hates Dallas. Right here? Okay, right here. I hate Pittsburgh. Ah, that breeze is wonderful. Okay, keep moving, Eric. We gotta get down still. Because there's still lots to do. Is this exit? 
And the Skita exit. And this is going to take us back down and around that uh, ramp thing again, I'm thinking. Maybe. The crowds are getting in bigger. Ay, caramba. Since spending our time in line, huh? And this will let you walk around the parapet, but I think we still want to go down, but... The rampart walls. This video is going to be longer than an hour, I'm thinking. Eek! Yeah, just offensive stuff. I think we've covered the meat and the potatoes. And you can see that it goes way down there. And you can walk all the way around the, pardon me, this whole building. Um, but that's not what we want to do. And you can't get in any of the towers, which stinks. Oh, watch yourself, mister. Hello. It just comes around all the way to here again. One of the things that was here before was see this bridge right here between this the wall and the building? That used to be a drawbridge because then they reinforced it and put that metal one in. But it used to be a drawbridge. And uh, so you, you couldn't even get, and once they pulled that drawbridge up, you, how do you get from one building to the other, or one building to the other, from the outer wall? So let's say you make it to the inner wall, or the outer wall. How do you get to the inner wall? Um, Pretty crazy. Let's see how long this line is. So it's still long. And it's still long. Oh my gosh. Still long. That's it for me, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.